I could feel some of the dogs going limp around me, unable to cling to life any longer. Finally, the truck pulled to a stop. Someone grabbed the crate I was in and kicked it off the truck, and we went crashing to the ground. Many of the paws and the tails that were sticking out of the cage were crushed and broken. Within moments, more cages packed with dogs crashed down on top of us until the truck was totally empty. Then I watched from inside my cage as the men grabbed dogs and hung them up, beat them, and killed them. I closed my eyes as I saw my brother hung up and beaten with a pipe. I wanted to help him, but I could barely even move. Then one of the men came toward me. Terrified, I felt metal prongs close around my throat. I was torn out of the cage and dragged by my exhausted body against the gravel. He hit my head with a pipe and threw me onto the table. I tried to get away, but the man held my face down so hard as he came toward me with a knife. <laughs> This is what 5 million dogs go through every year in South Korea, just for the sake of meat. Many of the dogs come from farms like this, but others are strays taken off the streets, or family pets that were bought or stolen. They're killed in all sorts of barbaric ways, from hanging, to beating, to throat slicing, to electrocution. Some dogs are slaughtered on farms, while others are killed at slaughterhouses, dog meat restaurants, or even people's backyards. Every 13 seconds, a dog is slaughtered for human consumption. We don't have to allow this cruelty in our culture, and dog meat certainly isn't healthy for our bodies. We can thrive on a plant-based diet, which is healthy, humane, and eco-friendly. So for all of the dogs who have feelings and want to live life every bit as much as you and me, please say no to meat and choose compassion. For them, for us, and for our planet.